Hello, so I'm back. So I've got my three booklets made. So if you see it's curly, the it's curly like this. Don't worry. When it's it's gonna be matte, it's gonna be all nice and flat. So I have this uh, small one, medium one, and large one. So as I told you, you measure the the width plus maybe half an inch or whatever, and then you just fold it. You make sure everything is nice and uh, square on the on the corners. Okay. So for the, also one thing I wanted to show, I put on the description in the description box of the other video. Uh, maybe you should fold all the where the the seam is before you start making your score lines it'll be easier for you where you to see where you're going so where you have this here just fold all three of them then you score your lines and then you fold them okay so here um also here i did not do the pocket but uh, you're going to see how to make the pockets so you're just going to add a pocket you know how to make a pocket just a little wider you just fold the two ends to make sure it's just within the two folds and then you glue the bottom and then the flaps inside and that's it. I'll, I'm going to be making one uh, here because we're going to make the first page interaction. So we have this little swing tab here. Uh, so this opens like this. You can put a photo here. And then you have uh, this one here that's supposed to be closed. You just turn it and open it like this. So you have this part here. Um, I mean this photo here. You can put a photo here. You have a pocket here. So this is, um, we're just going to make this whole thing and then glue it down here. So I've measured a couple of uh, sheets here. Where are they? Here. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little mixed up in my papers here. Too much going on at the same time. Where's my pencil? Here it is. Okay, so now I've measured um, the width that I want to have my, uh, my page here. So here... I had made a little uh, um, narrower there, but I have five and uh, three eighths. Five and three eighths. You can do five and a half if you want to. So you measure. I, I measured a little bit of paper that's going to be glued on here. What you got here? Well, it's not this one. This is matted on top. It was just this much that I had there, and then all of this. So this is what I have here. I'm going to round my corners. I'm going to give you the measurement of the whole thing. So you have, like I said, five and, let's say five and a quarter, and here you have uh, five, five, and then you do a score line at half an inch. Here I did only a quarter inch, so you can have four and three quarters, and you do a quarter inch here, score line. And I did two score lines just to help it fold here, okay? Now we're going to be doing this part here. So the, all you need is another little piece of paper. Same width, and then you're going to score a line of about a quarter inch, maybe another one just next to it, just to make sure it's, it's easier to, to fold. Just folding it, and then I round my corners again. And all you have to do is uh, you have to paper the corners here. Put the glue here been sitting here for a few minutes it's dry so on the outer flap here I'm just gonna put the glue on the bottom part here maybe like uh, I would say half an inch from the edge here whatever you want I put mine like three-eighths of an inch three-eighths of an inch and might make sure it's nice and flush on the edges here, on the sides. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to take page, the smallest one of the three, which is this one here. And all i got to do is do that on. I'm going to taper this here, even though I don't think it's necessary. I'm going to put the glue on the outside of that flap. And I'm going to put it... Um, here you have to kind of mat everything before you do that, but I don't want to mat anything, so I'm just going to put it here, and I'm going to worry about the matting later, because ideally you mat the whole the whole page, but I don't want to mat mine because I don't know exactly what paper collection is going to be the best for this one. I haven't decided, so that's why I'm not matting it. So you just glue it here. Here, I'm going to work something out, even though I'm not matting it. Make sure it's nice and even. Like this one is a little bit crooked. Maybe, maybe not. 
looks good to me. Okay, now you need to have your punch like this. You're going to punch four circles. One, two, three, four. I'm going to glue two together, back to back. That's to make them solid. I like to put two layers. Same here. Same here. Two of them. I'm going to make this one. And then what you do is you mat them with the paper you're going to use for your collection. This seems to be a little crooked to me. This I think is a little crooked according to me. So you're going to mat these and then after you've matted them, you have to, I'm not going to mat them because I, I don't want to finish it like I keep saying. So what you want to do is you want to find the one third. So you have like one, two, three thirds. Okay. So you check for the one third and then you just, just make it a test and see if it works. So if you put it here, this is going to be where your brad is going to be attaching it and you turn it here, you need, well, you need to have this part here, you see, has to be free. So this is where you would be putting your, your brad. And if you turn it, you're going to see that where you've positioned it. Once you turn it, it's going to go on top and just hold everything there. What you can do is you can go one quarter instead of one third and put it here. And once you turn it, goes like this, it's going to hold better. So let's go one quarter. So you just punch that hole. One quarter. There. You're going to use a brad. You mat it. You put the brad in. And then you're going to decide where you want to have it. So like I said, you need to free the flap. So just put it just, just on top. Just uh, like away like one thirty second of an inch and just you put your your pen in there and you just swirl it and see turn it and see if it goes right so you're gonna fix that there so you're gonna make another hole right where you put your your mark right here center it make sure you centered it let's center it five and a quarter let's go five two and a half so that's perfect it's gonna be right here you put a brad through here put a hole there, you do this there. And then you do the same on this one here. You have to have matted. But this one here, we're going to put uh, a pocket. So we're going to do that on the top in the pocket. So just grab whatever piece of scrap you have that is wider than your page. This one is too narrow. Grab this one. Okay. So you have to, well, it has to be the same width as your interaction here. Maybe this one would have been good. Um, this one. Yeah, it's good enough. So here you have one piece. This is the width you need. Uh, no, it's not good because I need to have more. Sorry. So here I'm going to measure like a quarter inch on each side. So I'm going to cut right here. to score two lines where I have put my marks I'm going to score two lines so here and here now you're going to decide how um, how deep you want your pocket so I would make it like three inches 
two and a half inches. Okay, so two and a half inches, you just make a line, two and a half right here. I'm gonna cut that. Approximate. Okay, so now we've got our pocket. So all you need to do now is taper the bottom part of your pocket all the way to the fold. Then you fold them. And then you're going to just glue it at the bottom here. And you have to make sure that this flap goes on top. Okay, so you have to cross that. Maybe half an inch or an inch. So you put the, the glue on the outside of the flap two flaps, yeah. bouncy paper, like this. And then where you have tapered, you just do a fine line of glue inside. So you have the two flaps outside, inside fine line where you have tapered. Now you just do that down wherever you want to have it. So I want to have it uh, here. Okay, make sure it cross, it's, it's uh, kind of uh, overlapping a little bit and you're nice and flush with your pocket, uh, your flap. So it has to be even, like this, nice and straight here, down here, like this, and then you're good. So then what you're going to do now is, with this flap, now that you have your other heavy punch, let's punch that one too, a quarter of the distance, approximately. So now you're going to use your pencil and you're going to do the same as we just did here. So you're going to have, this is going to be matted, you get your your brad, but before you have to check. So you have to be, when you put it that way, you have to be just a little bit away from the flap so that it opens and closes. And then you check like this. Like this is a little bit too close because um, this one here is too close, so I'm going to do it a little bit further. So here, so that when I turn it, it just stays within, like this. So this is going to be where my mark is going to be for the hole. And then you just put it in. Oh, let's cook it again. Let me redo that. Let's redo that straight. Take your time and measure it to, just to make sure nice, everything is nice and square. There. So, yeah, so what you're going to do after that, you're going to go inside, just poke it, and then go there. And what you can do is, you can kind of do that before you glue it on. So what you can do is just glue the one side before you glue this and this, and then you know exactly where it's going to be. And then it's easier if you just remove it like this, and then just go poke in it, and then, then you can glue it on. Okay, so this is the flap for the top page, and then inside what you're going to do is just going to do some matting, whatever you want. Here I've done like a large 5x7 and two of the 3 by 4s and I've done, uh, I just filled the, the gaps here as, like I do my incrustations, and that's it. And this page here, I had made this, but I thought it was much too thick, okay. I had this going in there, so I'm not doing that today. I did that interaction right on top of the page, okay? So I thought it was too thick. So this is going to be easier for you to uh, put your stuff in. It's good enough interaction anyways. So you're going to fill that, and then once you don't, you don't mat the back of them, because you have, well, yeah, you can mat the back of it, but don't do anything uh, like fancy, because you're going to glue that pocket, and this is going to be uh, glued right there, U-shape. So you don't want to have like those nice paper, uh, I mean uh, photo mats and all that. Just do regular paper and you don't have to go all the way in, just as long as you go inside the flap. Because this is going to be glued onto the flap here. And here I have the smallest one. You can have the bigger one, the smallest one, it doesn't matter which side you've done that, okay? So this is when it's going to be matted, just like half of it, or whatever you need. It's going to be glued like this. This is the first one. Just glued right here, and this is going to become a pocket. So make sure you have paper covering from there to there. You can have like photo mats here, but uh, I would suggest that. Well, you know what? Maybe we could glue it on right now because then we can do the photo mats right there, and then it's going to be a pocket as well. We can do that. 
but still I'm not sure if I want to do that so I think I'm going to do it so what you do is just put the glue here on the both edges and don't go around the, the curve they have here and then you put a nice fine line right here and then you just glue it on right here Yeah, and then here because this is going all the way there because my page is smaller than that so I'm just going to center it I have like a uh, an eighth of an inch on each side there so it's deep here here and here and here you have pockets so you can do that if you want if you prefer but I would suggest you mat it before but I'm gonna do like little mats or something like that make sure everything is nice and flush it's hard to see but if you just squish it like this you're gonna see if it's nice and flush or parallel to the uh, the bottom and the top here. Okay, so that's how you do your pages. And then you mat this as well. So the, I'm going to work on the second page here. So easy one. So here I added um, two flaps, but I'm going to work on uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so that now we're working on the second one. So this is the second one because the last one is larger. So what you need now is just two flaps. That's it. You can do anything else than flaps there. So you need to have two pieces of, of uh, cardstock that's going to be pretty much half of what you have here. So this is going to go all the way to the edge. You need to have uh, like a quarter inch for this uh, strip where we're gonna do that here. And then I need another one. Another one, I have to cut another one. Okay. I'm gonna do another one here. I'm gonna have two of the same. page so I have two pieces here this one here and this one here and they can be not exactly they can be a little bit smaller that's not a problem so let's see if this is straight not exactly straight it's hard to work because those are curving and you never know what you're doing I'll fix this it's good okay so I have this, this first one that I have measured, which is right here. I'm going to cut the second one the same length. Here. And I'm going to score two lines. Same thing, okay? They have to be the same. So if I have here, I'm going to do half an inch. I'm going to do half an inch here as well. Okay, they have to be the exact same. Now what I have done here when I made this one, I wanted to have this kind of card hold those two clothes, but I needed to have one glued on the left side, but that one I needed to have glued on this side, not this side, so that's what we're going to do. fold this, both of them, because they're not going all the way to the corner, I don't need to taper them. So you're just going to do this, do them there, I'm going to just draw my corners. So I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to check where the other one's going to be so they're kind of Having a little gap between the two, but not too much, right there on the edge. And this one's going to be glued right here on the edge as well. I mean, uh, on the corners of this one, put the glue here. And then make sure I'm on the edge. 
same distance from the top that I have from the bottom. I have a quarter inch, I have a quarter inch here, which I have a little bit, I have 3 16th of an inch right here. It's going to be 3 16th of an inch, pretty much on the edge right here. Now what you need to do is just make two little belly bands like this, so that your card is going to go inside both of them. Okay, so two belly bands. So I'm going to take this paper here and just see what I need. So I'm going to count again, about quarter inch, whatever you want. And then I'm going to make a mark at the beginning of my page and then the, uh, the flap and then at the end of the flap. And then I'm allowing a little bit more so that I can glue it on. I'm going to cut this right there and then I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make right now my lines when you have two things uh, two pockets or two belly bands whatever they're going to be next one to the other and you want to have them the exact same size uh, like width so you're just going to go like this you do both of them before you glue them or you, you cut them so you're sure they're going to be the same width. I'm having a hard time with this thing. Okay, and then you can cut whatever you need. So I'm just going to cut maybe uh, an inch and a half or something like this. You know, not too much. Just a belly band, and you make two of the same, ideally. There and. I have two of the same. So when I fold them, I am absolutely certain that both of them are the same width because I have scored the line before I cut them. So then what you're going to do, you're going to glue that onto your page, the inside of the, uh, the outside of the flap, and then you just glue it on here, pretty much in the center if you can do that. Same here, it has to be exactly the same width as your page. And then this has to be straight. This one here, and then I do the same with the other one. And then all you have to do is make a card that mat that fits in there, and then uh, mat it, and then it's gonna keep everything closed. That's it. Very simple. Looks good to me. There you go. And then you make a card that will just go inside like this and this. You can make it smaller, you can make it maybe a little bit bigger than this. And then you see it holds everything close. That's what we want. And then you map this and this and then you do the same on the back as we just did for the other sheet, other page. So you can just glue it on if you want right now or wait, map the whole thing and then glue it after as you wish. Like we just did this one. Here, you're going to do the same on this one. So you're just going to glue that on there and then make sure you're nice and flush. And don't forget you have a gusset here. You have to leave the gusset free. So you just glue that on top right here. Okay, so I'll come back for the last page and then uh, we're going to finish this thing. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.